Hey, back again with new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel, and this is Poco F3, the Mi 11 or the Redmi K40. Custom ROM reviews. Back with Matrix OS here. Android version is 14, and the version is 10.4.2. Official G apps variant. This is and Android version 14 device maintainer. You can see Android security patches April 5th, 2024 is the latest security patch. Even the vendor security patch is also the same. Kernel use here is 4.19.246. No kernel has been used. This is April 16th, latest build date with April 17. You can see build number. And this is the typical home screen what we can get. And these are the quick settings toggles here in the edit section. There are other toggles also, as you can check out. I will add this FS information here. These are the quick settings toggles you get in this particular ROM. Dolby Atmos is also given here. Let me enable this. You can see the real time FS count entire video from now. And this is the app drawer typical. And this is home screen, wallpapers and personalization. Again, lock screen customizations. You will get it. And into home screen, change wallpaper. There are few wallpapers pre installed. I'll change the wallpaper a little bit colorful here. Yep, this one set as a wallpaper, both home screen and lock screen. Yeah, themed icons is given. Other customizations are given. Still, the widgets are also given here as you can see you can drag and add them the ui wise it's really really smooth I haven't faced any issues here and this is the brightness toggle automatic brightness sensor is also working fine no problem regarding that too and coming into settings again i will close this anyhow i'll be going back on into settings this is all the settings panel organized really really good and smooth here and you can search anything from here and the search bar also looks a little bit better as you can see while you drag down that you'll get a search options coming with system again you get keyboard and gestures control here as you can see 100 mode double tap to check the phone and lift to check phone 100 mode i'll enable that going into navigation mode gesture navigation you get both the option to increase the pill length and radius here other options remains very similar to any of the custom rom these are the things system updates option is also again my recommend to use a clean flash method going into digital well-being and parental controls it's also working fine all new features has been used including focus mode bedtime mode dashboard parental controls has been given location google maps everything is working fine here no problem regarding that security and privacy you get uh, fingerprint face unlock here both the options are given app lock is also given here just enable that use it as a daily device this is going to be good drum accessibility settings again everything is working fine here every options are given here wallpapers and style again it revert back to display settings let's check this uh dark theme if i enable that no 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 pure black option is also given basic things are really really good as you can see once i apply it will be switched to complete pitch black condition turn off the light mode now I mean the switch to light mode colors again you get all these options here p3 srgb refresh rate adaptive refresh rate 6120 is given peak refresh rate again uh, rotation settings you get it low power refresh rate you get 60 and 120 tap to wake sleep and other dc dimming options high brightness mode options are also given here this is the display settings coming into sounds and vibration again you get all the necessary options like vibration and haptics individually you can set down and patterns are also given which is really good in my opinion Dolby Atmos as I said all the necessary options are given here no direct sound settings yeah it is there as you can see headphone type and preset and scene even hi-fi audio system is also available these are the sound settings coming to battery and battery life here thermal profiles has been included battery usage as you can see it's a very good ROM for battery life also it's not great but still it's good I can say sleep mode and battery saver you get these options here charging control then if enable you get three different options here uh, warning information statistics you can check out from here yeah, the battle life is good notifications apps everything is fine coming into matrix settings again you get buttons customizations as you can see for example long press for touch activate the touch by long pressing power button while the display is off okay now if you press long press as you can see this flashlight has been awaken here Again, you need to turn off from here. Anyhow, these kind of buttons, customizations available. Lock screen, 
again you get customizations here too as you can see like custom UD FPS icon if you want you can add that again you get some options weather settings if you want you can enable them and add some of the options regarding them that is it in the lock screen and in the miscellaneous settings you also get unlimited high photos sorry photo storage for google photos that is there and high fps in games like bgma that is also available here and notifications again you get some customizations as you can see on the screen and quick settings toggles again there also you'll get some customization like you can add the uh, icon and colored full icons and qs panel style other things you can actually customize them as you can see tile styles and all once you flash this room you will definitely understand that sound settings again pulse volume steps screenshot sounds panel styles also this one you can change for example if i change it to rising this how it looks and coming into status bar again there are some customization here too colored icons as i said before and logo everything you can customize them and user interface wise again you get some customizations ambient light displays also available in this particular ROM. These are the settings and everything. Let's see the results what I got in this ROM. Geekpen score 1127 is the single score, 3029 is a multi-score and resolution 14 legs 4.1 and 0.246 no kernel has been used and this is the Geekbench version 6.2.2 and uh, anti to benchmark results I got is 6,76,403 is the score. Temperature raise was 4.8 degrees Celsius, 4% 4 of battery has been dropped. The version of anti to is 10.2.4 and this is the basic integrity and CTS profile match both getting passed and device is certified here hence you can use all the payment applications if you want to use in this particular ROM it will work flawlessly and this is the read speed test with graph and this is numericals and this is the uh, level 1 certification and SJ10 certification I mean void 1 level 1 and this is the internet speed what I got with ATL fiber connection around 200 mps is the plan it's getting around 240 and this is charging rapidly you guys can see up to 21 watts here it is going to fluctuate between uh, 20 and even it will go down also once it is 90 percent these are the results and everything and this is the recent apps and you can also see the speed test here as you can see app opening time and this is the camera application you get everything is working fine here you also get this option this is the hypervis camera guys with leica integrated as you can see all the photo modes in the video mode again you get 4k 30 only no 60 let me show that yeah no 60 and some of the apps are printed like gallery file manager that's it very simple game space you also get that if you want you can add that here i will be showing without adding that let's see the bgm how it actually handles in this particular rom coming to graphic settings as i said before you get just move plus extreme here even though i have turned on the high fps count in the games we are getting still the extreme here no extreme plus that you need to keep in mind let's see how actually it performs here and this is just a brief idea guys it's not a complete gaming experience you'll get it from here It is fine, uh, even on the counter attacks, it is going to be fine here. On the rendering and everything is fine. According to the 60 FPS, you can see the real time FPS here. This guys, while you play classic matches, it might differ, and if you have many enemies around you, it also going to differ a lot. You'll get just an idea by seeing this. As you can see, even in the counter attack, the FPS drop was very minimal, and the overall experience was also fine here. Yeah, we'll come back here. That's the gaming experience, uh, and I also get this application audio, yeah, Oxio. For music files to listen the offline music who will use this in the this years i don't think so anyhow this is how the experience with this ui guys matrix os 10.4.2 based on android 14 latest version this is 
if you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM comment down in the comment section only after watching full video I will be answering those questions only and if you have any specific questions you can also join the whatsapp group available for me 11x only the links are in the description check out the flashing method and if you want to follow me on the social media you can follow me on those are the links available everything in the description check out them and this is Sampath we will meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now